All right, everybody, in this next section, we're going to customize various labels, our title, and the ticks of our chart. Here's how we can customize those. In this demonstration, I have various class sizes year by year, the years 2023 through 2026. These are all NumPy arrays, but you can use Python lists too. To set a title, we're going to access PLT, call the title function, and then we can pass in a title as a string. We'll set the title to be class size. Then we will run this and we should have a title. Class size, although it's kind of small and hard to read. Here's how we can customize it further. We can pass in some keyword arguments, one of which is font size to change the font size. I'll set that to be 20. Here's the new title. You can also change the font family and it's just family. I'll pick Arial. That's a professional looking font. You can set the font weight to be bold. Font weight equals the word bold. Let me make the title a little bit bigger. Let's say 25. That's better. Let's also set a color for our title. Color equals, here you can pick the name of a color, you can use RGB values, you can use hexadecimal values. I'll pick something kind of dark blue, like that. I'll copy the hex value, and then set the keyword argument of color to be that hexadecimal value. And now our title should be a specific shade of blue. Now we'll set a label for the x-axis. We will access PLT, call the function of x label. We'll set the label to be year. And we should have a label on the x-axis for year, although it's kind of small. We'll change the font size. We'll copy the font size from our title, but set it to be 20. Here's the new font size. Let's change the font family. I'll pick Arial again. I'll set the font weight to be bold. And then I'll pick a color. I'll pick a lighter shade of blue. Let's try that. Color equals that specific shade of blue. Yeah, not bad. The label is kind of close to the border. We'll be adjusting the margin a little bit later in this topic. To create the label on the y-axis, I'm just going to copy everything within this x label function, paste it, change x to y. We'll say the text will be, let's change the text of the label to be students, as in number of students we should have a similar label on the y-axis. Now we're going to customize the ticks of our graph. Each of these ticks is incrementing by 0.5 each. You can kind of see that here. You can force ticks to only display at these values for the x-axis. Here's how. We'll access PLT called the x ticks function, x ticks then pass in our list or numpy array that we're using for the x-axis. So now we have ticks only at each given year, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026. Now to customize the ticks, we will access PLT called the tick params function, meaning tick parameters. To select an axis, you'll select the keyword argument of axis, you can select X, you can select Y, or you can select both. We'll select both. We're going to select colors, plural, not singular. I'll select the same color as my labels. Now the ticks should be blue. I'm going to pick something a little bit darker. It's kind of hard to read. That's better. Some of these labels are a little too close to the border. To adjust the position of your plot, you can call the following method. Let's do so here. 
access PLT, call the sub plots adjust function. We're going to pick a side, for example, the bottom. Bottom equals, then pick a number between 0 and 1. For example, 0 0.5. The best way I can explain this is that after picking a side, top, left, bottom, right, in this case, bottom, our subplot will stop at 0 0.5 or 50%, and the rest is all margin. But let's pick a smaller value, such as 0.175, 17.5%. That's better. There's a little more margin now. Now for the left, I'll set the left to be 0 0.175 as well. That's a little too much. I'll set this to be 0.15, eh, maybe 0.14. I'm a little picky with this. That's not too bad. You could also do this with the top and the right as well, but we don't really need to. All right, everybody, so that is how to add various labels to your plots in matplotlib.